Okay, I thought I'd do a quick update after I got some, uh, I think I'm gonna, this is all the, um, accessories I'm gonna install on my 16 Freeride 137. Uh, I, a couple weeks ago I added, I think I added three new things now. So I just thought I'd uh, show you guys that because there's still no snow here. I mean, there's there's a little to drive like older sleds like these. Like I just took that uh, that 500 Yamaha out. That's my girlfriend's sled, and uh, it was it was okay on that thing. But you know, there's it's not this. I mean, I, so I'll just go through what I what I did here uh, past couple weeks. Uh, okay, so skidoo versibles. Took out the rear, farthest rear wheel. Uh, thanks, Jeff McGurr. Uh, I just followed his video. I mean, so uh, shout out to him. Uh, check his channel out. I'll have it in the description. Uh, so I went from an inch and three quarter paddle to uh, Powder Max, uh, which are 16 inches wide, to a Backcountry X2, which is a two inch paddle. And they're 15 inches wide. Um, I just wanted a two inch. I didn't want 2.25 is a little bit more than I need here, and I just didn't like the paddles on the the um, Powder Max. So, and I've always had awesome luck with these backcountry tracks on every sled that I've ever owned. Um, so I'm gonna have a good time with this guy. So hopefully we get some snow here. But uh, I did that and then the ice scratchers at the same time. And like I said, I'm just gonna go through all my accessories. So if you haven't watched my other videos, uh, the Link gas can, um, obviously the SCS Unlimited wrap. They hooked me up with some logos down here. Uh, I bought my sled for Moorhead Marine. That's just a sticker on top of the wrap. It still looks pretty good. Uh, this is my registration for Minnesota. I put it on my tunnel or on my tank just because it was the best spot for the wrap. I just didn't see anywhere to put it on the wrap. So, whatever. You know, if it's not, I know it's not legal, but at least it's on there, you know. So, okay. So, and then I also installed pull cord. Uh, figured just it's always safe to have that backup, quick start, one pole, you know. Uh, but my sled does come stock with electric start, so I had to get this as an accessory. Um, I got my little GoPro remote on here, um, so quick on off when I'm riding. Uh, see, so yeah, I've switched out these. They come lime green on your sled when you buy it. I put black ones on. Black XCS on uh, FCS uh, CNA Pro skis, um, grip and rip upper, and grip and rip lower down there for a little bit extra protection. Uh, glove box liner, um, oil light bushings are in the A arms. Um, Sylvania ZXE headlights, a little bit brighter. Uh, this is uh, an aftermarket windshield. I think this one's discontinued now, so uh, can't get that. Uh, auxiliary headlight, things bright. Pre filter kit. Um, okay, and then let's see. Goggle bag. I got an extra pair of goggles in there, and extra belt. Get this guy off here. I already had it half off, so it's just a little hard to hold on a second. Alright. Okay, so I got the QRS Tech Link, um, Dynamo Joe Clutch Kit. Um, I switched my gearing from I had a 20 three top gear to a 20 top gear now. So I'm 2043 gearing. Uh, 
So that got switched out, so I had to go to a, to a 102 link chain. So, you know. Okay, we'll just start her up so you can. So that's the ZXEs. Then you can turn on the auxiliary light um, with low beams, and then when you turn on your high beams, you turn on the auxiliary light. So, pretty cool. Uh, so, just thought I'd give you guys an update, but uh, the only thing else that's going to be going on is my can, Bike Man can. So, I'll get that on when it comes in next week. But thanks for watching.